Good morning, children. I expect you've heard in the news recently that somebody quite important has died. It was Prince Philip, or called the Duke of Edinburgh, and he was the Queen's husband. And I expect you've seen and heard on the news about his death and about his funeral. Well, I want to tell you a story about somebody else who died and had a very big, important funeral because he was a very powerful and important man. He was an emperor, the emperor of Austria, and he died in 1916. And because he was such an important and powerful man and he ruled over many different lands, he had a very big funeral. And the funeral procession went through the streets and many hundreds of people were watching. Now here's a photograph of the procession. Perhaps you can see the horse and the carriage and the important people that were at this funeral. And it went through the streets and it came to the place where the emperor was going to be buried. But the gates were shut. So the servant of the emperor had to knock on the big gates. And a voice came back saying, who is it? And the servant said, this is Emperor Franz Joseph, Emperor of Austria. And everybody waited for the gates to be opened, but they didn't open. And instead a voice came back saying, I don't know who you are. So again, the servant knocked on the gates and a voice said, who is it? And he said, I am Emperor Franz Joseph, Emperor of Austria, King of Hungary, Bohemia, Galatia, Dalmatia, Grand Duke of Transylvania. And he listed all the names and the titles of the emperor. But still the gates didn't open and a voice came back saying, I don't know who you are. Well, by this point, the crowd was very shocked and very surprised. The emperor was supposed to be buried, but the gates weren't opening. So again, the servant knocks on the gates and a voice comes back saying, who is it? And this time the servant did a very surprising thing. In front of the whole crowd of people, he knelt down on the floor and he said, this is Franz Joseph, a poor sinner begging for God's mercy. And this time the gates opened and a voice said, welcome, enter. And the funeral procession went through the gates and the emperor was buried. Now Emperor Franz Joseph had planned this for his funeral. He wanted the crowd of people to hear those words and he wanted them to know that even though he was such an important man, it was just the same for him as it is for everybody else. There is only one way to get through the gates into heaven and that is to confess our sins and to ask God for his forgiveness and his mercy. It doesn't matter how important you are or well known or famous or how powerful or how rich you are. Everybody needs to confess their sins before God and have their sins forgiven. And in Luke's gospel, there's a verse that describes Jesus and it says this, this man welcomes sinners. And girls and boys, the only way that we can be welcomed into heaven when we die is if we come as a sinner to Jesus and ask for his forgiveness.